Hey guys, Brooke Whipple here. Welcome to my channel. Look at this. This is a beautiful Yukon River King Salmon. It's fresh. My friend Neil just gave this to me. And we're gonna turn it into smoked salmon. Now you've seen me do it on this channel before. Over a fire, like the one you see behind me. A small fire and I've hot smoked the salmon. Now this time, I'm gonna use my barbecue grill. I'm gonna check it out. So stay with me. We're gonna smoke up a Yukon River King Salmon. First thing I gotta do is I gotta fillet this bad boy, so let's get to it. Beautiful. All right, now that I got this filleted, I'm gonna cut it into strips and I'm gonna leave the skin on. That's gonna help hold the meat on. Just like that. Now what I'm doing is cutting through, whoops, cut too far on that one. Cutting through, leaving the skin intact and it'll be easier to smoke it all that way. You should see underneath me, my dog is just like waiting for me to drop this salmon. Gonna be fitting this all on my grill, so. It's all just gonna need to have to spread out. Look at that, it's gorgeous. As I got my salmon cut up into strips and I, I left a couple in chunks and I scored it across the way. Now I'm gonna try a different recipe today I found this cool cookbook at a thrift store recently and I found a good recipe for a smoked fish and it's for strips, but it's a dry method. And all you need is brown sugar, black pepper, salt, and garlic powder. So I'm gonna mix those in a bowl, toss the ingredients over the salmon, let it marinate a few hours, and then we're gonna smoke it. I've only got one salmon here, so I'm not gonna do a whole big batch. Maybe just uh, half a cup or so of brown sugar. Gonna do a quarter cup of non-iodized sea salt. Just, I don't know, teaspoon or so, a little bit more black pepper. Just winging it. And garlic powder. Maybe a teaspoon? Just stirring this up and I'm gonna just kinda pour it over the salmon and just let it marinate in this for a couple hours. Do that, and then do this. Now the recipe said to lay it out on parchment and kind of let it drain and whatnot. I don't have any parchment, so it's just gonna, the bowl is gonna work just fine. Get it all gooey. I mean, I think this is gonna be wonderful. I'm excited to uh, taste this recipe. Looks like that's about the perfect amount too. Look at that. Smells great. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next step. All right, guys, we're done marinating. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna completely rinse this off real good, dry it out on paper towel, and let it form what's called a pellicle, or a, a little bit of a crust, so that it's ready to smoke. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Now I'm just gonna lay the strips out and just soak up this moisture so it can, they can dry out a bit. All right, I'm gonna get a bunch of paper towel and just dab off and dry off these strips as much as I can. So then they can air dry a little bit and then they'll be ready for smoking. What I'm gonna use for, for uh, smoking this salmon is my grill. I've got a cool little setup and I'm gonna get it on there right now just so it can kind of start to dry out. Now all I'm doing is laying these strips in my grill so that they can just kind of dry out a little before I smoke them.
just gonna let that sit and let that crust form and then I'll get smoking in a few hours. So this is what I got going on guys. I had to bring in uh, the salmon strips inside while I got the barbecue grill going. <laughs> we got the wood stove going. It's been raining on and off all day today and I did laundry which I usually hang out on the line and so now all the clothes are here by the wood stove and I got my salmon here. I'm about to take it outside and put it on the grill. So here we go. All right, guys, we're on to the next phase of this operation. Several hours have passed. Uh, it's been a very rainy day on and off today. So I had to take the salmon inside and put it on the wood stove while I fired up the grill. I've got a nice hot bed of coals in here. It's ready for me to put the alder pellets on top of it and bring my salmon back out, place it on there, close the lid, and let that thing smoke. Let me show you what it looks like. So I got a nice hot bed of coals here. It's still quite warm. Uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. These are the pellets I'm using. And just look like that. I'm going to put those on top of these hot coals and put the salmon on. All right, we're going to have to do this quickly so that it doesn't flare up too much. And it might even be too late, I don't know. I need a big pile. Watch out, me. I'm going to stick this on top. See the salmon here. We got a nice glaze on the salmon right now. It's just been air drying. I'm going to get the lid it's smoking up good. Look at that. We don't want it to flame up though, so you got to put the lid on. And there it is. That's some good smoke. Let's see what happens. Now this whole process is a completely new thing for me. I don't know how it's going to turn out. It's just worth a try. It's smoking good anyways. I don't know how long it's going to take. <laughs> we'll We'll find out. All right guys, it hasn't been that long, but I really want to take a look. It's still smoking good, but I want to take a look. It's been maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and uh, there's some good heat enough, and it. those strips aren't very big. I want to take a look, see where we're at. Here we go. All right. Oh wow. Oh, that is looking good. I think I think I need to try a piece. Some of these are small enough. I think they might be done. Let's take a look here. Oh. Oh, I got I got to move the camera. We're in the smoke. It's a really dark golden like sugar coated Oh my gosh. Oh, that's definitely ready to eat. Oh my goodness. This is like candy. Oh. You see the texture there? The color? This is Yukon River King Salmon. Oh my goodness. Look how golden and delicious that is. It's right amount of saltiness. And that sweetness. Wow. Okay, some of these smaller pieces, I definitely got to get off. I got to put the lid on for a minute because as soon as you take the lid off, that's where it wants to flare up and start, you know, actually producing flame. I don't want that. So I'll just have another bite. So good. Let's take a look. I almost feel like there might be too much smoke on these fish. But oh man. Some of these. Whew, and they're hot. This is a hot smoke. They're definitely ready to go. Ouch. That one. Oh, dang, I need something else other than my fingers. <laughs> All right, guys, as I, as I was taking some of these off, um, it, it suddenly flared up, and it's fine. I kind of want to burn some of these pellets off. I think it's just a little bit too smoky and too hot. 
So my salmon is right here below me. Just letting some of that, those pellets burn off in the kettle. And I'm picking out the pieces that I feel like are already done. So here is the plate of smoked king salmon, Yukon River smoked salmon. Here's my overall thoughts. You know, it is pretty good. It's a really rich flavor. I think I over brined it. I should have brined it for a shorter amount of time. And I think it was too much smoke. There's just a little bit of a bitter smoke flavor. If, like, if you were to lick a piece, you'd be like, ooh. But um, it's got a great golden, deep, delicious, salty, sweet flavor. I, I can't complain. This was an experiment and it turned out okay. And it's definitely edible. Just look at that. It's really, I mean, it really doesn't get any better than that. I just need to dial in the process a little bit more. So yeah, pretty interesting experiment. Smoking some fish on a grill. Literally this took 20 minutes, 30 minutes because it was a hot smoke. And you know, with the brine, it's already pretty much cured. So anyway, guys, there you have it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Love to hear your comments below on your favorite method of smoking uh, salmon and maybe give me a recipe too. I'm always up for new recipes. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Girl in the Woods. She gone. Oh, and don't forget to get outside and get happy. Look who's been waiting patiently. There you go, baby. There you go.